Hello, this is not a spring chicken. It happens to be summer, which means there are plenty of barbecues out there. And one of the things that always happens at a barbecue is you do have leftovers. Now, one of the things, of course, people love for barbecue are ribs. Yes, barbecue pork ribs. Sometimes you have a little bit of leftovers. Now, you can have those ribs already seasoned and have them with rice and vegetables. Golly, even without a barbecue. Boy, is that possible. So what we did was we took, this was otherwise known as the barbecue pork ribs, right? We took them, there's no ribs on here now. We've already taken, so here's the great part about it. You notice that there are no ribs in here at all. We just got the meat. So we just went ahead, took it off the ribs, or maybe you had it without the ribs, right? And so we just went ahead and sliced it up. It's already got the seasoning. And, which and is this the is only part. one piece of the, this is only I one know, rib, can you folks. That? It's only one, it would have been one rib if there'd have been any bones in it. Ooh, actually that would have been a really good rib because you know a lot of times, I don't know about you, but I never feel like you get enough meat. Oh, man, what we've done like is more. we bought a grill pack that was deboned already, so. So anyway, we've got this here. We've got, oh look, we've got rice over here. Now, so we're just going to dump the meat in with the rice. We've already started, because rice, this is not ordinary rice, this is gourmet rice. And now it I'm looking at it, it looks like it's been heated with water. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of leftovers, but not fully leftovers. No, because I did this because we actually don't have any rice left. So. Oh, is that what it is? We okay. ate the rice already. Oh, well, you know, rice. You know how rice around here it tends to do that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm putting the meat in here, spreading it out. Okay. Just a little bit all over the place. So anyway, look at that. Which you can't see in this anyway, so. Oh. Okay, so this is when we need the okay. So anyway, this way you can see kind of, I just laid it on top of the rice. Yeah, now we're going to put our water and our vegetables in. On top of this? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Then we're going to cover it with some more water. Okay. Oh. I need to have... Uh, we're just going to pour this inside? We're going to pour it all in and mix and then stir it together. Because we want to cover it with about a half... A, 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 Shoot, this looks really good. Yeah, and we're going to cover it with about a quarter inch of water. On top of what's in here? Yeah, it's the, okay. everything used to be covered with water. Okay, so I'm going to need to go get some water from here. Yeah. Okay, so, this. because the idea is we're sort of making its own little sauce at the same time. Because we're, we're nowhere near finished yet. Okay. And it is... Okay, now it's over the top. Some of those broccoli florets are kind of floating, but they'll Well, down. no, but we need to get the meat covered mostly. Meat's all covered, more than a quarter inch on top. And then we're going to just go put it in the uh, microwave for about five minutes on high as we start getting the rest of the next stuff ready, so. Yes. So we'll go, you know, we clean off our, our area. Nancy, we got, we got, she got to decide what she's going to put in for seasoning. In there. There's already seasoning on there. No, but there. do you want to put some like uh, 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 soy sauce or do you want to put. It's already barbecue. No, there's no barbecue sauce oh, on it's it. Seasoned. Those you know what are seasoned. Like? That is seasoned pork ribs. Let me see if I have something kind of smoky. Yeah. That yeah, would work out real, real well. Smoky, yeah. kind of mesquite like. I know. But see, we get our uh, our lettuce out and we we'll wash our lettuce and so. Yeah. And then anything you want to use, we'll set down in the. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna. She decided upon I think Worcester sauce to stir into it. I know, cause at, first of all, I love Worcester sauce. Yeah. Mm. That's the first thing. Yeah. Okay. And it just seems to make everything better. Yeah. yeah I know. I actually... Especially my, meat. My grandfather used to have... Now whoever would have thought that you'd get splattered. Okay. Open the lids away but, from yeah, yourself. Yeah, because you play Superwoman all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you basically were the only person in existence that ever stuck a credit card in, uh, in a thing at the airport. I know, and they all had to come over. It's like these people had to come over and look to see what. Was because it was impossible, because the credit cards are all meant to fit. 
not, you know. And it wasn't mine this time. Actually, mine don't fit. But yeah, and then you just stir that in. And I know. And put it in on high for another five minutes. Oh, I think I need to put a little bit more in here. Oh, yeah. It's, just, it's up to her own choice. I see. Mm. Because oh. we're not only, you know, we're making just a little bit of sauce to go with this stuff. Okay. And then we put it in the oven for five minutes on high again. Because in reality, we're, we're cooking the pork. In yes. Oh, it smells really good. Because the big thing with pork products oh. is you really have to make certain that the product is done. So. Oh gosh. Actually, pork is one of those things that, first of all, you need to make certain it's done. But the other part is, unlike some other meats, if you overcook it, um, it does dry out. But some of the other ones, they get really kind of really tough. Yeah. Pork doesn't get seem to get as... Well, because say, as tough when you overcook it as other meats. But we're using a water base to cook it in rather than do uh, it's basically being boiled because we want the we want the flavors from the uh, the se the seasoning to go into it. So you know, here you can't really trust her because she's Asian. And they eat what raw I'm going to put it right here. And they, they eat raw stuff. Is that yeah, what I know. Mean? No, I'm, ch I'm testing it. Yeah. A lot of ways you can tell if pork is done is if it is. There's no pink. There's no pink. Uh, slight pink. Then cook it for another five minutes. Okay. Because it is more important that um, that you get everything. The pork should be cooked and all the way through. So and then we shall turn it off again and then. No, you're looking at me. That's <laughs> you know, it was in the I was in the microwave for 15 minutes because we had to make certain that the the pork, the pork was, was completely through. Basically, you can take a piece of pork out, cut it, and it was, you know. It smells unbelievably good. Yeah. So what we have here is we have some cornstarch with water. We're gonna go ahead and warm it up. So it's actually warmed up. We're going to put it in now. Oh, it's already warmed up? We're it's, going to put it in yeah, just got to pour oh. it in. We're going to, I know, <laughs> it's, she warm. noticed it's warmed up. So. <laughs> yes, it's warmed up! No, well, I do that because she basically does things like that, so. Oh. Okay, no. so now we're just pouring this inside here. Yeah, pour it in and just stir it. Oh, gosh. Because, see, now we're, we're mixing this up. Because oh we want to thicken it up a bit. You thought, because I was looking at it going, oh, what are we going to do? Pour all this water out? No, we're going to thicken it up. Because that water had all the seasoning. Oh my gosh, I'm watching it thicken right in front of me. Yeah. Oh it should God. thicken all up nicely right in front. Oh, yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then we're just going to take it and put it on our uh, our lettuce base and our bowl. and it's Just ready like to eat. that? Yeah, it's done. Oh my gosh. It's ready. Yep. Okay. So this is going to do. This thing is still hot. Yeah. Yeah. So. Move it out of the way. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Just put that here bowl over. And we're going to put the bowl over here. We've got to get another spoon. We've got to get a spoon to or our ladle to put our stuff in it. Yeah, because this spoon right here is not going to work quite as well. I know. I know most people, and if, why are we using organic greens? Well, because we got a place that we get this stuff really at a good price. Oh gosh, now it started to thicken up. This just looks really unbelievably good. Yeah, that's what you thicken it because it comes out. Because oh, I did not want to lose the 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 broth around it. Oh my gosh, look at this. I know. And it's got just enough stuff. Just enough Everybody. Stuff. Oh, 
something folks it's probably warm it's like you would not believe I'll get out so uh. but it should be great tasting It, you know, like mm -hmm. it's I all like. it's all leftovers. Everything you set there is stuff that we just pulled out of the refrigerator. So this is basically this is leftovers. It's seasoned pork and vegetables and rice. Yep. On a bed of lettuce. This yeah. Is the only thing we did we had to do new was we had to do the rice because somebody ate my rice. Who would do something like that? I don't know. Eat your rice. This is really good though. Oh. Bon appetit. Enjoy. Mm. 